the first thing I'm going to do is draw the mass. And I think a neat way of doing this is just to create a class, probably. We'll just call it a mass class. It inherits from object, but we can leave this blank. And we've got to define an init function. And the init function will take some other parameters, I guess. It will take a position. That's where we want to plot it. And it will take a color. We can have the masses be different colors. And a width and a height. Well, so what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to make them blocks. And each block will have a different width and height based on the, the amount of mass that's there. And it will be a different color. Right. And then, of course, we're just going to set the class variables equal to this. Self.color is equal to color. Uh, we'll just call this self.w is equal to width. Typo. And what else do we have? Self.h is equal to height. And then for plotting purposes, I also want to know what is the top and what is the left of this rectangle. So self.top, we can calculate from self.position0. Now position 0 is the x coordinate, minus width divided by 2. Okay, and similarly self.top, we can say is self.position1 minus the height divided by 2. And then this needs to be indented. We need to define a render function. And for now, let's just let's just draw a box. So we say pi game draw rectangle screen. Okay, we've got to send the screen in first, the surface that we're drawing on. Then we need a color, self.color. And then we need to draw the rectangle itself. Self.left, self.top, uh, and then self.width and self.height. Just W. Okay, and that's it. And then what we're going to try and do is render it in this loop. So let me just get rid of this for now. Okay, let's just define an object. We'll call it mass1. And we'll say that's equal to mass. Um, let's give it a color. We'll just call it, well, why don't we call it red for now? And in fact, the first thing we need to do, right, is the position of it, 150 by 100. Color, let me just position, color, width, and height. So let's make it 120 by 80. Okay, and then all I'm going to do in this loop here is I'm going to go mass one render. And then what will happen is it's going to render it here because I've defined this method render for the mass. All right, let's try to run that 39. This should be self.pause. Mass1 is not defined. I thought I defined it. Oh, I had a capital M. I want that as a small m. Self.lu. What did I call it? I didn't call it left. There's my block. Okay, very good. So now the next thing that I want to do is I want to implement the update. We go here, update, and it's going to take self, and it's also going to take position. So we send in the new position, and based on the new position, you must now calculate where I need to plot you. So the first thing we need to do is update the position. Then self.left, we can calculate it again, right? So 
it's self dot position zero. In fact, it's just this here. Copy and paste. That way I don't have to worry about typos. And that's it. Except that here should actually, this is going to be self dot width and self dot h. Should probably actually put it here too. Doesn't really matter in that case. All right, so all I have to do now is update it. Mass one, update. And I've got to send the position. But what is the position? I'd argue that the position is just, we'll call it point two. And let's just say the other one is 100 for now. Then I want to send point 0.2 in there. If I go here 100 times this. Okay, here's, here's what I'm going to do. Let's create something where I have a point 0.1. I'm going to put this down here, in fact. Point 0.1, and that's my anchor point. That's going to be where the spring is attached to the wall. And we'll just arbitrarily say that's going to be start at 35 across and 300 down. All right, and then I'm going to have an offset. We'll call it offset one. And that's how far is point two offset from point one. And I'll call that to say 300 pixels. Okay, so point two, let me rewrite this as point one, zero, plus offset one. plus y2 and then the other component would just be 0.11 okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger let's just say a hundred times let's try to run it now oh it's working but it's not it's not clearing the screen each time so what I need to do is in this loop here, just before I render it, I need to go screen fill white. Okay, so it's working. Let's try to draw a second one, a blue one. Let's take this mass and copy it. And we'll make this one blue call it mass 2 and since mass 2 is a little bit smaller let's just draw this a little bit smaller we'll make this 80 by 80 and now we can use our update and render so let me go back and do that and this will go into update these are up here So I'm going to update the mass there, and mass 2 will update that as well. Except now, well, let's think about this for a second. We want to have a second point. We want point 2. Let's go back to this loop. Excuse me, point 3 we're going to call it. And let's create point 3, which is where mass 2 will be located. And point 3 will be point 1, we'll have an offset 2, and then this will be y3, and it's still along the same y coordinate, not y coordinate, yeah, y coordinates, I'm sorry, point 1, 1. Alright, so I'd actually put this after here, and then I'm going to feed point 1, point 2, and point 3 into this. And then we're going to render it, and then this will be part of the render function. So we'll fill the screen with white, we'll render mass 2, a 1, and then 2. And that should be it. And 300. Six, so let's make it 550. Uh, six, well, 550. I didn't fix that up here. 
So this should be point 0.1, point 0.2, and point 0.3. And this should be point 0.3. the function we don't need points all right I think that should be good to go and there you go so the all that's missing is I guess a floor and a wall and, and then some springs let's do the floor and the wall first because that's pretty easy and let's go here we'll create a new function for this we'll call it render statics in the static objects And over here, the first thing we'll do is we'll render the statics. We'll call it from the render routine. And this will be, we'll say, the floor and wall. So pi game, draw, line, to the screen, do it in black. And the weight will be 10. It doesn't say black. All right, now what is this going to be? This is going to be the floor. Our anchor point was where? At 30. Point 1 is at 35. So let's start it at 30. And let's draw it as far as... This is 800. Let's go almost to the end of the word. Okay, so let's go to 770. So we're starting from 30 and we're ending 30 pixels before the end of the window. Uh, and then it should be based on point one, I feel this. And the height of the block is 80, so half is 40, so let's make a little more than 40. So let's just say plus 45. And this will be exactly the same. Point one, one plus 45. Draw dot line, that should be. Oh, and I'm missing a comma here. All right, there we go. So now let's just finish off by drawing a wall and maybe a little line here where the equilibrium position is. Okay, so again, pi game, uh, draw line. We're going to draw to the screen. We're going to do it black. And now, hmm, we're going to do it from, now 30, I guess, in each case. And this would be point 0.1, our anchor point, 1, let's say minus 50 to plus 50. And then what I'm going to do is, just so I can see where the equilibrium position is. Uh, let's define gray as a color here. And that's just 150. Good enough. So we'll use gray here. And this would be point one zero. Let's say plus three hundred, which is the offset amount. Plus offset. Point one one plus fifty five. Now I'm just going to copy that, and then this one would be plus fifty five to seventy. I just want them really short, maybe about fifteen pixels long, and we'll give it a weight of three. I think that's right. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, but this offset will be offset 2. Oh, 
Well, that looks pretty good, I think. Now we just need to draw some springs and we're done. <laughs>